you ever get a fortune cookie that isn't a fortune cookie? This is a sealed, empty fortune cookie bag. So I've once, I think DMS got a fortune cookie that had a blank fortune inside, or was it no fortune? It was either a blank piece of paper or there's no fortune inside, and that's like bad luck. What the fuck does it mean when you get the sealed bag with no cookie inside? Is that extremely profound good luck? What is that? Anyway, we're on uh, video number three since the resurrection of the unboxing channel, which could actually come out in a row now because I'm saying the episode number. And uh, this, actually we played this fun game with Dan yesterday here. You probably can read for the title or possibly we'll do something with the title, but let me, let me show you the other side, which has a better, better image. So it's made in China, here's some clues. What am I unboxing? A company reached out to me and says, hey, we have this thing. And I was like, you know what? That's just cool enough that I want to unbox it. So what is it? Can you tell? Can, can, have any of you? Because Dan was looking at it and he was, he's a very mechanical guy. He understands what the arm looks like. There's a display, there's a switch. There's something here, it looks like another lever, lever. And then there's a lever handle here. There's a screw, like what is, like, what is this? Can you tell what it is? This is like a, one of those kids, this is a video made for kids. Hey kids, what is this? Is it a giraffe? No, you idiots, it's a hat press. Seriously, it's for pressing logos into baseball caps. Oh, God did that to me. Never make videos for kids, or God makes you sneeze. So let's see. Boom! Golf cap heat press machine user manual. It's specifically for golf caps, but I mean, it's gonna work for anything. And it's, it's not super expensive. I don't know if I have a brand. Pasta, we may have to search the emails for the brand. Because apparently, oh, maybe it's an SGS. Fucking foam is going nuts on me. Anyway, how many golf cap heat press machine user manuals can there be on Amazon? I just think this is, because I would love to make custom hats with like anime titties on them. Oh, if you were watching these in a row, uh, in the first video I unboxed not safe for work anime stickers, but I didn't actually unbox them. Well, I unboxed one of the th four packages and here they all are in case you could really see them through the low quality GoPro. That was one of the four packages that was in that shipment. One, I could stick sticker bomb my luggage and then we can go to fucking California and I could be like arrested as a goddamn pervert. Although that's not illegal. What's in here? This thing's heavy, this thing's metal. So I'm gonna have to do the old uh, grab and drop. Oh fuck, it's trying to take the whole goddamn styrofoam out. I hope it wouldn't. There we go. Please have rubber feet. That's a, that's a sexy machine. Combo heat press machine. Mm. Smells like a bowling pro shop. Oh, look at that. That'll get you through a nice lunch. Actually, I usually keep those and put them in something that might have equipment in it because it's gonna work for a year or two. So if you have like a toolbox with drills that you take outside and maybe they get wet, you keep that in the, in the toolbox with it. I'm sure you could buy it. Pasta, baby. See if you could also link in this video like an Amazon supply of silica packets. Not for eating, but for like actually putting in toolboxes and such. I don't believe there's any rubber feet on this, so I'm gonna be real careful on my countertop. We've got to cut a zip tie, which I have the perfect tool, which pasta can also link because I keep it in here. I bought a five pack of these. Pasta, could you link the CHP quality hand tools? Made in, whoa, whoa. I bought a five pack of these months ago. I unboxed them. That unboxing is probably out. And I put one in that drawer, I put one on my desk, put one, like anytime I need to cut a zip, well, zip tie, you just want to have a cutter. I assume these are made in China. Made in Italy. This is an Italian cutter. Mamma mia. That's amazing. Pasta, I'm so glad we ripped this out now. Now you have to link it. There's a couple tools I got randomly that are like, 
I got that, and it was made in Italy, and I went to a hardware store back in my old town in Narberth, and I needed one of these, just a standard old wine puller fucker, and I think it says somewhere on here, does it not say on here? Yep, there it is. Italy. Italy. Right there, the little fucking stamp in the fucking arm. It was, I'm like, I was amazed. A little town in fucking Pennsylvania has got an Italian wine bottle opener. But apparently, Italy's making some tools. I mean, we are a, a, a fucking culture of craftsmen. We usually we make pizza, but I mean. So I have no idea how this works. I'm not gonna read any instructions. I'm sure my fingers are safe. We have an up and down noob. So let's see, I wanna go up. And I think I, this is, okay, that. That do that. That do that. And this do that. Oh, did you hear that? I figured worst case scenario, if this thing heats up and presses something, I'll make a sandwich with the motherfucker. It'll be a curved sandwich, but it'll be a sandwich. By the way, this handle is squishy foam. This is not like a hard plastic or anything. This is just a, this is like baseball bat. I could grab that all day. That is very nice. Big knob, I love a big knob. Here's your, here's your hard rubber plate. And this is to load and unload the hat. I, there's a picture of it like, there was, there's, a, there's a picture of it doing it. I gotta get a hat. I'm not gonna sacrifice a hat. No, Pasta gave me this one, so I don't wanna risk that one. This is my like Nike one, that's nice. I bought that one online. You know what? Fuck it. This hat. Anybody know what this is? Because I don't. Got it from a, my brother who got it from a friend. He was like, hey, you want some hats? And my brother had like five hats and I took this one because I live in Philly. And that's a P and that's an I. Unless that's a really fucked up R. Unless that's like an OK logo and it's fucking racist. Like, what is this? There's nothing that indicates branding. There's an American flag and there's a PI. This could be like a, like a asphalt company in fucking Ohio or something. If you know what this is, let me know, because Google, Google fucking lens is zero. So I think the way this works is you put this here, like that. So what does this do? It pulls, you pull, put this through there and then it pulls down. Oh yeah, look at that. I figured it out, it just pulls that down, holding that in place. Then you just go like, padunk, pachinkers. Look at the fucking, oh, it's metal and I'm dragging on my thing. I gotta fix that, hold on. All right, we'll have to wash this towel again. I'll have to put some Chinese fucking thing on it, but I don't wanna scratch my fucking countertops. This really should have legs. It has, it has, look at the bottom of it. Vever, it's a Vever, baby. Yeah, there's spots for four legs, but there's no four like legs on it. I didn't see them in the box, did I miss them? Nope, they just didn't give them. Oh, be cautious. Don't put it on top of your countertop. Anyway, so that's how that goes. I guess since really this is only getting, that, is, that was super like understandable how to make that happen. Let's plug it in just to see if it blows up. Cord's a bit short for what I would like. Speak of the devil. Oh, I had asked, I had posed Pasta a question. Let's see if she got back to me. Okay. There's a curb here, but okay. when you're coming this way, you don't see it. Don't see the so curb. I fully just launched myself. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Please don't let me drive. Please. I want to hear just... That's... Uh, that's a... Baby, I believe in your abilities to drive, and you can drive any of my cars or trucks at any time. You'll be fine. Baby, you'll be fine. That's going to appear in an unboxing, but it's, it's fine, because we need content, and I believe in you, and you're a good driver, and I've driven with you, and I trust you, and I would sleep in a car while you're driving for 17 hours across the fucking country like we did. Anyway, I plugged this in. Let's, we got a fuse here and a mega switch here. Wait, wait. Okay, there was a, a sticker on the switch that says qualified. For what? The Special Olympics? What are we qualifying for? Be more specific, machine. Why? 71, out. Temp, time, up, down, up, down. This is a THJ 
XMTF3, obviously. The user manual is as such. Uh, connect the machine power supply, turn the power switch on as shown. Uh, temperature display. Oh God, I'm gonna yell that for playing it on stream. It's all right, this is all happening now, live. That's very nice of you because I, I can't even drink a coffee while you're driving. So, you know, it certainly would not close my eyes. It'd be a sweeter way to go. I drive like a little, I drive like I, I built a car that goes very fast. And I wanna go places and fun, speed. I don't wanna feel G-forces and she's just like, nah. She's gonna get into it though. When she brings her Fiat around these things, cause she's got a little Fiat, she's gonna be ripping it up. Then she'll get in my car and we'll rip it up together. That's gonna be great. Okay, so temperature display, Celsius or Fahrenheit, currently in Fahrenheit. It's currently heating up. Oh yeah, I could feel it. So as soon as you turn it on, it basically starts heating up. I can feel it. It could definitely make this into a sandwich press. And if I do not press hats, I will press sandwiches. Um, time display. Oh, it'll count down from when you push it in. So there's like a 10 second countdown right now. I wonder how hot that'll get. Temperature setting, time setting. Uh, Fahrenheit is degrees, degrees is Fahrenheit. Does it tell me the temperature, maximum temperature? Oh yeah, operating temperature will be set to 170 degrees Celsius with a maximum temperature of 180 degrees Celsius. Echo, what is 180 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? 180 degrees Celsius is 356 degrees Fahrenheit. That'll press a sandwich. That'll press a sandwich. I'm most concerned about pressing sandwiches. Um, one of the things I was hoping this came with was like a sample hat and a sample thing to press on it because I have literally nothing to do. But I mean, sandwich press. I'm not demonstrating that. See that, see that on either a live stream or an unboxing. As long as I could do it without like damaging, damaging it, it shouldn't be fine because that's a metal plate and this is just hardened rubber. And if I can adjust this to like be way more space, we got a piece of bread in there. So let's see, it's going up. When does the timer start? It probably starts there because it's counting down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Here comes the beep. And then you've pressed your thing. So let's see, how long can I set the time for? Because I'm gonna have to fucking set. If I'm pressing a sandwich in this, holy shit. Look at that motherfucker go. Five minutes. Here it comes, 10 minutes. You can set a 10 minute timer. So wait, why is it, why is time and temp a button? Oh, that was weird. So what does this do? Up higher, how high can we, let's go, let's take this up to maximum in Fahrenheit. I love how fast it goes. 280 degrees for 10 minutes. Temp, out. Out means it's heating up. Yeah, it's changing it. Am I gonna press an actual food product in this? No, I don't wanna ruin it with, cause this is gonna grease, this is gonna, I don't know what you'd even use this mechanism for. I don't like the I don't like the part of the hat that gets gripped onto here. So you do this, you loop under the hole there, and it does that. I don't like that there's that um, wing nut. Actually, this one's real loose. I should probably have checked that first. But um, I don't like that that's like sort of there, like pushing against it could rip up the fabric or get it dirty. So that would be something I would just cover with some tape, just to make it a little bit a little bit neater. But yeah, no, let's push this down now. And I've got it so that it's floating above the thing. And yeah, it starts counting down from 10 minutes. That's nutty. That's fucking nutty. Anyway, this has been a Vever hat press slash sandwich press. I think it'll be cool if I can make paninis in it. That's just what I'm saying. And uh, oh, this is adjustable too. You can adjust this, which this is getting moderately warm. And it's definitely not straight from the... Uh, from the shipping, so there you go. That's, I could adjust my sandwich press to be correct. It's doing a good job of keeping the heat away from the top of this. So we want up, more up for more space. Good sandwich crack, good sandwich crack going on. 
boom. Smooth operation too, I gotta give it to it. It's, it's definitely one of the nicer built Chinese hat presses I've ever touched in my life.